Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to resolve this error alert you might be getting when trying to start the Windows Defender service. Um, specifically, this is the error 577 where Windows cannot verify the digital signature for this file. A recent hardware or software change might have installed a file that is signed incorrectly or damaged, or that might be malicious software from an unknown source. So very well could be one of these things, or it could be none of them. Um, it's just helpful hints that Microsoft might be leading you in the direction of. However, I'm going to go through um, how to hopefully resolve this issue for you guys. So first things first, I'm going to close out all this stuff and X out of services. And now I'm going to head back to the star menu, and I'm going to type in reg edit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. And you want to right click on the best match and then left click on run as administrator. It should say reg edit. And then you might get a user account control window. Select yes. Okay, so now there's registry keys we have to modify here. The first one would be H key, local machine. Do a little drop down next to that. Then you want to do a little arrow next to software. Scroll down here until you get to policies. Again, the little drop down arrow next to that. Then do the one next to Microsoft. And then finally, left click on the Windows Defender folder. There should be something that says Disable Anti Spyware up at the top. You want to double click on this. If the value data is set to 0, you want to change it to 1. And then click on OK. Once you're done doing that, you can close out of the registry editor. Now you want to go into your start menu, type Windows Defender, it should be listed as a desktop app, you want to left click on it, we see that our app is still turned off by group policy, so what we're going to do is head back to the start menu, type in local group policy, it should be listed right above the control panel, so you want to left click on that. So the first thing you want to do is navigate over to computer configuration and click on the little drop down arrow next to that. Then you want to left click on the little arrow next to administrative templates. And then the one next to Windows components. And then finally head down to Windows Defender. On the right side here you see there's an option that says turn off Windows Defender. Double click on this. Select Disabled, and then click on Apply and OK, and then you close out of here. Now if we hit back in to check out Windows Defender, we see that at least now we can open it up. So now if we click on Start Now, it should hopefully be able to start the Windows service on its own. Just be patient here for a moment. And we can see that Windows Defender has started back up. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.